Hey everyone, we're going to do a bit of a back to school special, talk about college and whether or not it's worth it. So I want to talk about a couple different aspects of college in terms of worth. Uh, first I want to talk about some of the financial aspects of college and whether or not it's worth it from a financial perspective, whether or not it's worth it to maybe be doing something else. There's actually a guy named Peter Thiel who has some ideas about that. And then I want to talk about worth, not necessarily from a monetary standpoint, but worth in other respects. So first I want to talk about worth from a financial perspective. And I want to say, is it really worth it to invest the amount of money? When you take a look at the amount of money that an average college graduate makes over their lifetime, it is worth it. But then you have to ask yourself, okay, why does this happen? Why is it that college graduates are the ones who are making more money over their lifetime, generally speaking and statistically speaking, than folks who don't go to college? Is the education really the thing that's giving them the advantage? I think in some cases it is, and I think in some cases it isn't. Uh, the way that our system is designed right now, to get a lot of jobs, you actually have to have a college degree before you can even get considered for that job. So there are lots of people who actually may even be qualified for that job, but they don't even have an opportunity to get that job, strictly based on the fact that they just never went to college. A degree is actually what a lot of companies use to weed out certain candidates, so they set that as a minimum bar. They have so many candidates who are actually applying for jobs that it makes their job easier to set a qualifier like that. In addition to using a college degree as a qualifier, sometimes companies will use experience as well. So you may say, well, maybe I can go ahead and get an apprenticeship instead, and that would allow me to get the experience. But when you think about it, most apprenticeships in those types of jobs are usually happening as internships or as co-ops. Other apprenticeships are typically happening in trade skills where you don't require a degree, but instead it really is reliant on the amount of experience that you're doing in that job. Another thing to consider is the fact that a lot of people actually don't get jobs or spend their career in the field of study that they actually did during college. I'm a good example of that because I actually am working in software testing, in software development, and my degree is actually in marketing. So you may say, okay, then why do I need to go get a degree? Can't I just go out and get that experience? And in some cases you may be right. Take a look at what Peter Thiel is saying. What he's saying is, is that people can be successful without college degrees. He's actually offering up $100,000 for people to not go to school. So all that being said, I would actually still say that college is worth it for the experiences that you have in that place in a relatively safe environment. If you go to school, whether you go to school in an online setting or if you actually go away to school, you're learning to work at a high level in conjunction with other people. And that's one of the most important skills that you can possibly develop. If you go away to school, you're going to have lots of other experiences to prep you for the real world. So my freshman year, I had to learn how to live with somebody else who wasn't just a member of my family, which went awesome until it didn't. So then I had to learn how to deal with a frustrating, aggravating roommate. So in my first quarter, I had to learn how to actually manage my time because it wasn't quite as structured as high school was. And it was a learning experience because in my first quarter, I got a 2.4. I was used to getting 3.5s in high school. So that was a bit of a shock. For me, this was actually also an experience as well for the first time where I was actually having to manage a budget beyond just gas money and fun money. So that was really important and that gradually grew up over time where at first when I was in the dorms I didn't have to worry about budgeting for meals as much but I did have more things to consider like things like textbooks but then when I got to my junior year and I actually moved off campus then I had to actually start considering okay I need to make a budget for everything including getting food every, every week, getting gas every week if I have my car down there, and making sure I still have money to go out and have fun because that's important too. Uh, so I really learned how to make a budget and balance a budget at that. And all of this is actually happening in what I would call a relatively safe environment. I mean, if you screw up, there's still going to be consequences as well, but they're not going to be nearly as bad as consequences that you might suffer in the real world, as it were. So I guess the best way to think about it is, is that this is kind of a step. Uh, one foot into the real world, but still one foot in a safe environment where it's okay to fail. So from my perspective, sure, it'll help you make money because it'll help you get into the system, no problem. That's certainly important. But really what's more important is the fact that you're getting experiences that are going to help you actually out in the real world. I actually think that you learn more outside of your classes than you do inside of the classes, but being in that place at that time is what actually helps facilitate that learning. My parents weren't too happy when I actually said that, but I still stand by what I said. So that's my take on whether or not college is worth it. Do you have a different take on this? Maybe your experience has been different than mine. Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, click on like, and also feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.